Hello everyone, welcome back to Gent Watches, and today we are going to be continuing and, I guess, finishing our One Piece opening reaction. So, uh, in the last video, I had planned to do all 1 to 24 in one video, got about halfway through and realized that uh, that, would, that would have been a long video, and I think it is... It was probably a good idea to split it up into two separate videos as well. So here I am, this is a week later, I'm with fresh eyes, um, and I, you know, so there's, there's advantages and disadvantages to this. The advantages of me doing it in this format is that I, I didn't get like burnt out and start like them all merging together in my head. Um, and so like now I can come at it with fresh eyes and with fresh energy as well. Um, but the disadvantage of this, obviously, is that if there are references to the first 12 One Piece openings, I'm less likely to remember them because I didn't just watch them. Um, and, uh, thank you very much for everyone who watched the previous video and enjoyed it. I, I got a lot of good reception on that. Um, and, uh, got a lot of comments. A lot of people know a lot about One Piece, which doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I found out that the... Uh, they uh, they cut the endings, I believe, from the show, so that's why they were able to have basically extra long OPs. And you know what? If that's the case, maybe I would watch the extra long OPs in their entirety every time. Because if I don't have to watch an ending, it's the same amount of time, so sure, yeah, okay. Because uh, I love watching OPs, um, but I was just thinking, like, if they're two and a half minutes long every time, maybe, maybe that's when I would start to skip them. But I'm not sure. I, I, I feel like, but... Uh, it is One Piece as well, like, there are a thousand episodes, I feel like I would have to. I would probably watch it, like, 20 times, and then start skipping them, except for the very start of a session. So whenever I first sit down to watch a batch of episodes of One Piece, I would watch the first uh, OP, and then I would skip the rest of them for that session. That's how I would probably do it. Um, but, uh, anyway, I also didn't notice last video that the, uh, the We Are opening, like, the second one was sung by the, the voice actors of the show. Didn't notice that. Um, obviously I don't know what their voices are really. I've only seen, you know, a, a handful of episodes. Like, not even a handful. A handful of clips of a handful of episodes. Um, <clears throat> so I can't recognize them on site, but, um, but I should have recognized that it was different people singing it. I didn't, I didn't, I am not that perceptive sometimes, especially when I was focusing on the visuals, because I wanted to see what had changed in the visuals. So, uh, today, we are going to be doing episodes, or, well, openings 13 to 24. Um, I still have the, the list that I wrote down last time, apparently OP3, OP8, and OP9 I really liked, and then OP11 I really, really, really liked. So if there are other things on the same level as OP11, we're in for some juice. Um, and I've heard some good things about these OPs, you guys really like them. So, let's, uh, without further ado, we're gonna get into episode... I keep saying episode because I do this, I only do shows on this channel. Um, we're going to get into opening 13, which is called One Day. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is like a old high school rock. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is a totally different feel. Ooh. This is like an ending feel. Not ending of the show, I mean ED feel. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay, alright. A little bit of a more serious tone to this one. Less adventuring, more just everyone chilling. Reminds me of an MHA thing, I'll talk about it later. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, cool character designs. There's the red-haired guy again. I like the song. It's not what I'd expect, but I like it. Okay, got some backstory. Brothers? Are they brothers? They look like brothers. It looks... Whoa! A Godzilla over there. Whoa! Hey, long neck, dude! Um, this feels like an important arc to me. Just from the OP alone. Okay, he seems happy to see him. They're on good terms. That's good. Okay. T -t Horrible logo. <laughs> that was nice. You know, okay, so what I, that reminded me of is in um, the My Hero Academia, one of the endings. I can't remember. I think it was like a season four ending. 
yeah, I think it was like the first half of season four. Um, it, there's a, a bit where it's just showing like the like it's showing a few of the characters in in bed sleeping, and then it shows like this pan of like every character in the arc like sleeping in their bed at night. And I think it was a it's a really cool thing to like when you see characters alone contemplating something it can really show you their mindset i find it really interesting and i think i i out of a lot of the mha endings which i enjoy a lot of them um if not all of them um sometimes they'll do like little character things like that that i fall in love with and that one was especially amazing because there was like i think in that one there was like mirio crying to himself about something that happened in that uh, in that in that show um, there was I guess it must have been the second half of season four then um, and there's like you know there's some of the characters that like look very you know disturbed but some of the characters are sleeping quite peacefully and you can just see the emotional states of all of them the reason this reminded me of it and I actually want to get it up on on screen just so I can see it is because you see just a lot of the characters on their own like contemplating and I I really I really like that without even knowing these characters. I'm just trying to see. I mean, you can see like this character reading, for example, and um, I'm just trying to get the exact bits. This character's writing. This character's like looking at wine. This character's cleaning his weapon. Like, you, th these these characters, you can just see them on their own. And I know it's such a simple thing, but when you see these characters like on their own, just going about their day, I feel like it it shows it it sets a certain mood and I really like that like and the going about their day is not training I don't want I mean I do want to see them training sometimes but for to go for this mood they can't be training they have to be doing something that is so mundane that it just it just sets like you're you're seeing this person when you shouldn't be because you don't often just watch characters sitting there um, but a good portion of our lives we're just sitting alone doing you know God knows what. Um, I liked the song. The song was like this cool, like slow rock, um, you know, it, it felt like a, what did it feel like? It felt like something early 2000s, some sort of live action early 2000s thing, but I can't put my finger on exactly what it feels like. Um, totally different vibe, but I enjoyed it. I definitely very much enjoyed it. Um, okay, so, I mean, if we're getting this, you know, interesting with our OPs, I'm excited to see what's what's coming next. I already feel a, a distinctly different vibe. So let's uh, go on to OP 14, which is Fight Together. That sounds familiar. I don't know if we've... I don't think we've done a song called Fight Together yet, have we? Um, but let's just get into it. Okay. Okay, these are more interesting walk cycles. I like those. They've all got their own little unique walk cycles and they're not just walking with their arms to their sides. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Oh, that guy's become the new Luffy because he's got the hat. By that guy, I mean that rock. Ooh, what the heck? Whoa, this, this is not the sound I expected. Oh, the song keeps changing to ways I don't expect. Is that the, who I think is the brother again? Sticking around? Except there's a new guy there now in their past. Do they keep adding to Luffy's past, <laughs> retconning in characters? Oh. I feel like they're not choosing the obvious choices for OP songs, but I like it. Oh my gosh, if these are, if these are flashes of like moments that have happened in the past that are important to them, then I love it. Then I love it. I love when OPs do that. MHA did that at some point as well. Nice. Ah, wow. I'm trying to remember which... I, I know I keep... I, I don't mean to compare this to MHA, especially since um, I know MHA, especially now, has a uh, has a fan base that a lot of people don't like, and so people have put that dislike onto the show a lot of the time. Um, but I do, I, I remember in one of the MHA OPs, there was, a, I can't remember if it's Polaris, I don't, I don't know, it might not be Polaris, but there's one of the OPs where, and it's one, in, one of the ones later in the show, where it shows like, 
um, you know, Uraraka, and then in the background it's just showing like these moments that she's remembering, and then it shows like Bakugo, and it shows these moments that he's remembering, and it shows Deku, and it shows these moments that he's remembering, and it's these like these very nice things of like it's almost showing character development it's like this is what's influencing this person right now these moments and you've seen these moments we just need to show you screenshots of these moments um that's what that felt like i tried not to look too much and i'm not going to go back and re-look at those scenes because i'm sure that is rife with spoilers um i i purposefully did not even take in generally what they were looking at i just took in the vibe of the images because <laughs> i know like I know I do at some point want to watch One Piece, and obviously this is OP what 14, so this is this will be, um, this will be 14 years into the show, um, so this this is gonna be like you know 500 episodes in or something, um, so I I'm probably not even going to remember most of that stuff anyway. Um, but just in case, I didn't want to see like anything majorly important in that thing, but. Uh, nice. Again, they're not... I expected, when I started these OPs, like, for it to start, and us to hear horns, and us to hear, uh, male vocals, like a, a band of male vocals singing almost a sea shanty for every OP. <laughs> um, and I mean, I, I expected them to change it up a little bit, and as it went on, it would turn into, like, more hard metal. Still male vocals, but hard metal. Um, or, you know, some one or two of the OPs would get experimental and be like techno. Um, but the variety I've seen in these OPs is very surprising to me, especially since, since there are so few OPs, like sh the show, I think the show, you know, uh, as I figured out last time, probably has a, an OP a year. Um, and so for that few OPs for how many episodes it has, um, you would think you would need an OP that... Uh, has an overarching, like the same overarching feel to it. So you can't get more specific with it. If you're just doing it for 13 or, or even 25 episodes, then you could get like super specific for it. But if you're doing it for 50 episodes, then uh, you gotta be more broad, I feel like. But then again, I mean, maybe One Piece arcs like really do go for, for that long and like follow those same characters for that long. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't seen the show. Um, but yeah, they're making some very unique musical choices, but I like them. I like them. They're, they're nicely unique and they're surprising me. They're, I didn't expect it from One Piece. So let's go into opening 15, which is called We Go. Ooh. Going back to that classic feel. Classic One Piece feel. I don't have subtitles, but that's fine because he's just explaining story probably. What the? Who is that? It looks like Luffy, but like evil version. Oh! This is really cool, but this is what I was talking about. This is what I expected. Oh! Awesome way to reveal the logo. I wish they had the rope going through again, though, because that's a really cool part. What? Okay. Could they always fly? I mean, they fell from the sky on some of these OPs. And when I say, could they always fly, I also mean, can they fly now? We're getting their names! Zoro, Mami, Usopp, yep, I know these people. Sanji, Chopper, I didn't know his name. Robin, yep, I know her. Frankie, I kind of know him. Brooke, I kind of know him. I knew Zoro, Mami, Luffy, and Robin. Oh, I like this animation. Oh man, they, I will say they do his stretchy powers pretty creatively, like the way they animated it is pretty creative. Oh, I know that mermaid girl as well. I, I forgot her name, but I know her. Oh, I like this breakdown. Oh, and passing on the, the hat. Is that how he got the hat? He got it from his brother, maybe? That sounds like a spoiler. I shouldn't look too much into it. <laughs> is he saying itch knee sunshine? <laughs> that is a very slightly better version of the ending <laughs> ending card, and I really mean slightly better. It just it doesn't have the obnoxious X, but it's still not great. <laughs> Was he saying itch knee sunshine? I'm not great at at 
Japanese, but it sounded like he was doing a pun thing there because um, because Ichni Sun is um, one two three, um, but uh, but yeah, like it normally you'd go Ichni Sun Shi or Ichni Sun Yon, I believe, um, but he was doing Ichni Sun Shine, I think it sounded like, um, which would have been a kind of pretty. Uh, pretty cute little pun, putting the word sunshine into one, two, three. Um, but I don't know if that's actually what he was doing. Um, so, uh, that, that was good. That, as I said, that is sort of what I expected from a One Piece opening. That's kind of what I thought they would all be. Um, so, you know, that, that is a, uh, very serviceable One Piece op, OP. I would not complain about that at all if I was watching that before an episode that would be that would be great I like how we got the little character introductions with all their names and stuff it's also nice for me watching these videos because I I don't I, I know the characters from media exposure but having not really seen the show uh, very much I don't uh, I don't know the characters properly but I do I do know uh, Luffy and Mami I like Mami from like the things I've seen I like Mami um, I like I like Zoro from the things I've seen. I've heard Usopp of Usopp before. I've seen Brook a lot, but I, I only think I, and Bro I'm if I'm saying Brook, I'm talking about the skeleton guy. I maybe maybe I've gotten their names mixed up, but I'm pretty sure it's Brook. Um, I know about Brook just because every time I see his design, he reminds me of like um, what was that game? Uh, Grim Fandango was that the game? Um, with all, all the skeletons and stuff. I also have not played Grim Fandango, but I do know of the art style of that game and those things uh, connect together a lot in my mind. Anyway, uh, good OP. Don't have much to say about it. It was just uh, it was just a solid OP. So let's go into the next one, which is Hands Up. Here we go. Ooh, this is catchy. Okay, he's in the middle of eating. Oh, that's cool. It's like a coloring book. That's really cool and creative. I like the way he said revealing the OP. I do wish they had the rope animation though. That was so cool from that one or two OP. Okay, we're seeing them training now. See, this is a different vibe than when we saw them just going about their daily business. This is them doing what they do properly, I think. Is he the cook of the ship? Yeah, this is their, this is their more overt stuff that I suspect we'd see on screen a lot okay he's facing minions i guess this is the despicable me crossover arc oh my gosh and there's like gundams and stuff oh okay oh cool and horrible okay who, who this oh okay look that looks like an important character like a, a master, maybe? Doing training? Nice. This is cool. Yeah, add in the characters one at a time. Nice. Aw. That's cute. Wow, he'd be good at hugs then, Luffy. In a universe where people are all different sizes, his power would be the best hugging power. Oh, they're building Lego? So he's got that scar on him. I don't... Did he have that at the start of the series? Don't, you don't have to answer that. I'm just curious if that came about from a major event. Nice, and then you get alternate outfits in the ending there. Much better than the logo. Cool, yeah. You know what? I wasn't even really thinking about the song very much during that one because the song was pretty inoffensive and, and enjoyable. Um, but yeah, it was just da 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 Like, it's, yeah, pretty, pretty simple little song. Um, so I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just basically watching and enjoying the visuals, but yeah, pretty solid. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I, I think that's, that's the perfect example of what I was talking about before, which is like when you're having characters doing mundane stuff versus doing the stuff that they know and that we know that they do. Um, so in, in that OP, you had people like you had, um, people, you know, f fishing, you had people weightlifting. You had uh, people playing, or Brooke playing the violin and stuff. And these seem like more things more in line with their character traits rather than us seeing them do everyday things, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it was that was cool. That was cool to see. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we got one of each 
um, in OPs very close to one another so that I could I could compare them. But um, other than that, yeah, I mean, we saw them facing a few, like a, a couple villain groups there with uh, some generic-ish looking enemies. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I don't have much to say about that one either, actually. I, I am enjoying these OPs and I would not complain if any of these OPs came on. None of them so far have made me like you know, stand up and and go like this is an incredible one. But I will say the the first two from that I did in this video um, were really like really good OPs that while they weren't explosive, I feel like they would grow on me and become some of my favorite OPs. Um, but the ones I'm writing down on this like little list here are the ones that explosively I'm like whoa. Um, but then again, I was also comparing these ones to the older ones. I think I have now a higher standard for these OPs because they've been so solidly good that I'm expecting good things from them. So, um, so if all this is to say, if I have, uh, watched your OP and it's like your, your favorite OP and you are thinking like, no, that's clearly the best one. Genuinely, a lot of OPs, um, it takes me about four or five watches to figure out what I really like about an OP. Some of my favorite OPs of all time, I kind of didn't even like on the first watch. And on my like third or fourth watch, it clicked. I was like, whoa, actually this is awesome. And then, and then suddenly from then on, every time I heard it, I was blown away by it, blown away. Um, so anyway, let's go into episode, episode, why am I doing that? Let's go into, uh, opening, what are we up to? This is 35, 20, so we're on, uh, opening 17, which is wake up! Ooh. Okay. This is fun. Oh, I actually really like this. It feels like a... A bang dream song. <laughs> I like the, I like the vibe of this OP so far. Okay, that showed me kind of who Robin is. She didn't even care about them doing all of that. It was actually very good for showing off their personalities. I'm kind of learning a lot about these characters already just watching that OP. I know of this guy somehow. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, nice. You're getting all that, these matchups. Like, they're all facing different enemies. Ah, I loved that wink. <laughs> wow, this is... This is weird. Having, like, a breakdown halfway through where they talk. I don't know if I've seen that before. And I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, these are cool outfits. Look at him. Whoa, an arena? Is there a tournament arc in this in this arc? Oh, that was was that a what, Gulliver's Travel reference? With the woman being held down? Very cool. That felt very uh that felt very iconic, that OP. Like that felt like that felt like a memorable one. What was that one called? Wake up. I am going to just look at something real quick. Okay, so uh, the thing that was throwing me off was I am a... Uh, just dropped a lot of stuff. I'm a fan of Bang Dream, right? And so like Bang Dream is an idol, idol anime and, and, and stuff. I have to put that figure on the other side now because I just messed up a whole lot of stuff. Um, so I'm a big fan of Bang Dream. Um, and I said during that like that it had... Uh, a, a bang dream feel to it and then while I was going on I was like why did I say that why does it have a bang dream feel to it like it doesn't really sound like a, a bang dream song well I figured out why it sounds like a bang dream song it's because of this so bang dream did a cover of the song and <laughs> So I actually knew the song already. I'm a big Bang Dream fan, and I, uh, I sometimes I hear a lot of song like covers that they do, and I don't really realize what it's from. So I didn't know that was from One Piece. I didn't know they were doing a One Piece, uh, One Piece cover like that. You may be like, "Well, there's One Piece visuals." I didn't watch the video. That's it would have been cover from from the game, um, and so I would have been playing the game. 
and heard that song at some point and not known where it was from. So, very cool. Uh, it's cool to hear the, um, the original, original thing for that. And, uh, it, yeah, it was... I mean, maybe that's why it feels iconic to me, because I actually already knew the song. <laughs> um, but in terms of uh, the visuals, it also like looked pretty iconic, because a lot of the characters' personalities really came out in that OP. Like, you saw um, Luffy and someone... I, for, I, I don't remember all of their names, but Luffy and someone chasing each other around, um, and they were chasing each other through others. I think Brook... Brook or Brooks, I already forgotten his name as well, um, was playing the violin at that time, went over Robin's thing, she was drinking tea, she put it down, um, went through to an area and like bumped into Mami or something and then Mami screamed at them, so like Mami's like, you know, yeah, cute girl that gets hot headed, I, I, I think, because I always see the animation of like her face getting really huge and getting huge chompers and <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it was a really, pretty cool to see their, uh, the, their personalities like that and then we got some battles and the battles were cool because it was like Luffy was going up against the uh, The main dude obviously, but then all the other characters seemed to have their own like counterparts that they were fighting If that's what the show's like where like they come across a rival crew and they almost just like choose their opponents That would be pretty cool. I think where it's just like oh like this character. Oh, that's the character Mami's gonna fight or this character is the one that um, You know Zoro is gonna fight. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I feel like it won't be that cut and dry I've, I, Like I I assume a show that has over a thousand episodes isn't That formulaic. I feel like it. It's got to follow some sort of formula to be able to Keep coming up with ideas for this long. I feel like, but I, I feel it's it's surely not that formulary where it's like come across a rival crew, everyone chooses their fighting, <laughs> chooses their fighting partners, um, you know, build up some tension, build up some story, then they all fight. Um, but I don't know. So that was good. That was wake up. That was opening seventeen. Let's go to opening eighteen. Hard knock days. Can they just? Oh my gosh, he's very strong, Luffy. Break through rocks. Listen to this, OP. Ooh. Very cool. Whoa! Are they in New Zealand? I was born in New Zealand. I live in Australia now, but... I'm joking, I know it's not New Zealand. <laughs> Whoa, eating together? Maybe this is just a chill arc. Oh. Although, he's running through a lot of enemies here. Was there a, ki a boxing king there? Whoa, is that the same guy from the last arc leading that that walk? No Oh my god, whoa that animation was pretty cool actually. Oh He's got like fire powers. That's kind of cool. I can never tell what mommy's doing It seems like she's just swinging a sword, but I think there's some energy coming off hers What? Huh that Okay, I didn't know that little guy turned into a muscle dude. Okay. Wrestling? <laughs> Pretty cool. And that's a better better logo They Link it on it for a little too long, but that's a better ending card. Very cool, okay. Um, yeah, we got some... I mean, I, I think what, what's kind of coolest about seeing these OPs is, like, Oda, that's the guy who, who, um, writes it, I'm pretty sure, um, is, like, clearly, so, I don't love his art style, just generally, I mean, it's just not for me, um, it, like, you know, the, he's got a very, very distinctive art style with the show, incredibly distinctive, um, and that's very impressive in its own, um, and it's so malleable that he can sort of create any type of character he wants. And I think that's awesome. That that on its own is awesome. And because of that, he can create some really unique looking characters and characters that can easily stand out from one another. Like if you need, like this, if you're designing a character and it's like, oh, he's, mm, he's not really popping yet. It's like, oh, I'll just make his muscles eight times the size of a regular person's muscles and I'll stretch his legs to three times the length of a regular person's legs, you know? Like, you can just you can just do whatever you want. You can just go into Photoshop and click, use the transform tool and just drag it out or use a skew tool and just skew different body parts, different angles until you get something that looks super weird but 
super memorable. Um, and so the kind of cool thing about seeing these OPs right now is I'm just seeing like, it's just it's just like this. I'm this guy is going here. Here's every drawing I've done in the last 20 years. Um, so I'm just gonna show you like, bam, that 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 that. I'm like, slow down. I need to see these properly. But he's like, nope. I'm just gonna keep showing you these. Uh, because I've, we've got a lot to go through. We've got thousands more of these uh, these drawings to go through. So I'm just gonna. Did you see those ones, huh? And so I I kind of I kind of enjoy it being able to just see like a slideshow of all these character ideas. Because yeah, I I am kind of a traditionalist when it comes to um, like enjoying uh, enjoying like art styles and stuff. I like when a show. Like, in terms of visuals of a show, my sort of favorite thing is when a show has a pretty, like, simple and uh, mm, standard art style, but super polished. That's what I really, really enjoy. So, like, I mean, I guess a good example of that is, like, Demon Slayer, I suppose. If we're, like, even taking, just taking away everything else about Demon Slayer, just l l purely talking about the visuals, Demon Slayer has very, I mean, very distinctive uh, character um, character designs. In fact, the character designs that uh, she draws are impeccable. Um, but uh, on top of that, the art style is pretty simple, generally, and the anime is animated by um, uh, UFO Table. So they... Uh, they are really good at just like adding so much polish to it. So the the show just looks amazing and the art style is very consistent and awesome. Um, and so that's that's something that I, I really enjoy. So in terms of visuals, I mean, not everything, everyone can be them, obviously. There's a, a billion dollars that go into that show. But that's just what I'm saying is that I just, I, I really enjoy simple visuals. Not to say that I don't think uh, that this is good because this this art style is clearly really good like it just looking at it in terms of uh, in terms of uniqueness in terms of memorability um, and even in terms of just aesthetics on their own like it is a it is a very solid art style um, so so don't take this as me me being like ah like when I say it's not for me, that's not me saying I think it's bad. Um, I'm 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 saying I think it's I think it's awesome, um, but that it would be a little more jarring for me to get used to. Um, I think, but I haven't watched the show, so who knows? That could be something that literally drops within a few episodes, and then I'm just in it. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, good good op. I <laughs> I talked more about other stuff than I did about the op itself. Um, but I think that was just because it was, uh, it was an enjoyable enough OP and, and showed me a lot of characters and that's what made me think of it. So now we're going on to, uh, uh 19, which is, uh, we can, so it's not, we are, but it's, we can, I wonder if they're referencing it. Let's, let's do it. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's doing their name, it's showing their names, but it's really hard to see in the background. I mean, again, this is kind of what I expect from a One Piece OP before I started watching these. Oh, but it's still really cool to hear. Is Robin always just sitting there drinking something calmly? Ooh, are they going underwater here? Oh, okay. Ooh. Overarching villains, maybe? Oh, okay. Beat Shark. <laughs> wow, they're, they're all shirtless, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, a big portion of this OP... Oh my god. A big portion of this OP dedicated to a water gun fight. Oh. Okay, and then it gets more serious. Oh. Okay. Maybe Mami has some sort of lightning powers. I think she just struck them with lightning. And Robin has some sort of like... Skin morphing? <laughs> she seems to make flesh of some sort. 
Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! He's in the furry universe? Okay, yeah, no, we're suddenly in an animal universe. What the hell? A whale tree? Okay. No! They're back to the old logo! <laughs> I like how they snuck that old logo in. Like, they, they keep... They keep trying to make me forget about it. And that I thought they would have ditched it, you know, 20 years ago. I I I genuinely don't know if if this logo is like super beloved by the um by the fan base. Sometimes that sort of thing happens where something is so beloved that people are like, no, why did you take away the one piece logo at the end? Put bring it back. And so they're like, okay, for nostalgia and for the fans, we'll put it back. And that's very noble and great. But man, it is so outdated. <laughs> um yeah, so anyway, um yeah. Very, very good. I, I like how there was the the fact that there was a big section in there where they're just fighting with water pistols makes me think that like they are legitimately just going, okay, this is going to last us a year. So in these 50 episodes or whatever, which arcs are we, uh, which like important story beats are we covering? We're covering this fight, we're covering this bit, we're covering this and we're covering this. So let's put in the OP, it goes this, then this, then this, then this. Um, and so because of that, there's like a section where they're like, we're covering the, you know, murder your brother arc. We're covering the, um, the, the, the poisoned Ivy arc. Then we're covering the bit where they fight water pistols for three episodes. And then we're covering the, uh, you know, uh, take someone's arm off arc. And so like the water pistols thing, it's like, oh, this is actually a significant amount of episodes. Maybe we'll just have in the OP, we'll just, you know, make people understand that that's coming. <laughs> Um, I found it interesting that this is a song called We Can and We Are is there. In fact, there was also, number 15 was called We Go. So, th they're, they, it, I, I guess like, maybe, maybe they're just like trying to make references to their other stuff. Or maybe they're not and maybe they're, uh, maybe the bands just come up with this idea and then when they give it to One Piece, One Piece are like, oh, you know, we already have a thing called We Are and they're like, what? Um, so let's go into opening 20 which is called hope oh yeah oh yeah i love the sound of this very cool oh i love the sound of this this is pretty chill and nice I mean, occasionally when you have super chill and nice OPs, that's when the real screwed up shit happens, so who knows. Ooh, this is cool with this cape showing the memories. I'm not looking at the memories too much. I'm mostly just going to be looking at him and looking at the vibe. But that's very cool. And then the slow walk into running. Good trope. Ooh, that's a cool, cool design. Okay, still got the animals sticking around. They're inside cake. Oh, I know that character, that, I don't know why, but that horrifying pink woman. Very cool. Oh, the cake. So they're in a land of cake. Oh, that was a, that was a pretty disturbing looking, I mean, a lot of these characters are actually pretty disturbing looking. I feel like I would not like this arc <laughs> visually. This is cool though. The vibe of this. Whoa. That just looks like a clip from an episode. Nice. Oh, I like that that bit of the song where it, she's like singing off beat almost. It's cool. Ugh, they ruined it, but it's great. You know what? This might be a strange choice. I'm putting OP20 on onto my list of of uh, of stuff. I feel like that's. I don't know why that one particularly resonated with me. Maybe because it was very unique. Um, very unique sounding. I will say something that I really like in, in OPs whenever I'm listening to, to... I mean, just in music in general. I really like um, flow switches, you know? Um, like, I, I like rap a lot of the time. and um, But also, like, in non-rap music... I like when the when they have flow switches. So when you know singing at a certain rhythm, and then suddenly the rhythm goes double time, um, and that that happened a couple times in this song, and I think that immediately made it like trigger in my mind as like yeah, this is good stuff. Um, 
But uh, I also really liked that sequence, and I'm not going to go back to it because, again, I don't want spoilers, but where there was a person sitting on the ground and Luffy standing up, and they're both, like, looking at each other, and it's, like, raining or something. Um, and just that whole, like, the vibe of that scene seemed incredibly important and memorable. And so that's why I don't want to go back and look at it, because I didn't really catch who the other character was, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know who it is, but I think it is an important uh, important scene, and I think it's really cool to see that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's that was opening 20. I don't want to talk about these too much now, because I feel like I'm just going to be repeating myself, and this video is going to be three hours long. So uh, let's get into opening 21, Superpowers. Ooh! Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, that's a change. He's still wearing... Okay, so I guess this must be a continuation, kind of, because a lot of the characters and costumes seem to be sticking around. And they still seem to be in some sort of Alice in Wonderland-esque area. Ooh. That's cool. Okay, yeah, she's... Mommy's got something to do with lightning. This is catchy. Super powers. I don't know what it's reminding me of. Oh, who's this? This is cute. Whoa, what was that? I hope that character's still alive. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. This breakdown. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm already... This is already super catchy. Super power. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Very odd character designs. Did she just make arms grow out of them and choke them to death? Was that what happened? Man, I hate that woman. <laughs> I think some of these OPs have put me in a good enough mood because I'm also going to put that one on my list. And I didn't expect to when that one started. Like, when the the chorus first started, at the very start, and it just repeated that, like, nah, 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 super powers. Like, when it just did that a few times, I was like, okay, yeah, this, this is a pretty, pretty cut and dry one. But some of the change-ups in the song, and the breakdowns, and, like, all of the different ways that the song, like, did different dips and turns, I really enjoyed it. I found it really entertaining for some reason. Um, and then the visuals looked really exciting like that looks like a very fun arc there are some characters that uh, when i say fun arc i don't mean it's going to be happy and fun because it looks like there might have been some very sad moments in this arc possibly um but i i just mean fun arc as in really entertaining to watch because uh, it looks like that arc would have i mean yeah just actually i think if there was any arc that I would want to watch in the show, just from that OP, that arc looks like the one that I'd want to watch. Um, and, you know, maybe maybe other people will will who have seen the show will be like, nope, you chose the worst one, you chose the worst arc. But just in terms of, like, the way that it looked like, like, that the OP set up the stakes of the arc and the, um, the relationships that were going on and the villains and stuff... I'm assuming the large woman with the pink dress and stuff is a villain. I mean, she looks like the most villainous person alive. And that, I mean, that character, I really don't like her design. I mean, she looks perfectly hateable, which is good for a villain design. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't want to keep looking at her for many episodes, you know? So, but it looks like she was in the last OP as well. So I feel like she sticks around for hundreds of episodes. So... Who knows? Um, but regardless, uh, yeah, that was a that was a very good OP. I liked that one. Okay, let's go on to the next one, which is Over the Top, opening 22. Whoa. Whoa, who, who imprisoned him? Is this a metaphorical prison? Or is this... Whoa. Whoa. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, nice. This feels like old school anime, but I mean, we're in recent years now. Like this is this would have been within the last five years. Whoa! Look at her ears. I said her. I don't actually know if it's she. Her pronouns. Whoa! Oh my gosh! The visuals in this OB are crazy. 
Whoa! They're so fast paced. Whoa! I mean, Luffy! Wow! This is crazy. Oh, this seems like an insane arc. Like, really impactful. Whoa! Whoa! Look at the... Oh my god! What is going on? They're, they're just showing an entire fight in the OP? Oh, wow, that, it's over? Was that the same length as the other ones? Man, they, I mean, they showed what looked like an entire fight in that OP. Like that was, they just showed a fight. I feel like I just watched an episode of One Piece. They, they, I, okay, all right. I mean, yeah, that was, that was, that was really cool. I liked the, the upbeat rate of the music was, was really cool, but I couldn't even focus on the song because the visuals were changing so quickly that I just had to keep up with it. And it wasn't changing like ch they, they were doing a slideshow. Like it was just like animation, 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 animation. Like that was a really well-made OP. Um, but I am curious about the song because the song did sound like, you know, a 90s song, um, like a late 90s uh, song. Um, so <clears throat> it's interesting that they're trying to keep the vibe of this is a 90s anime even though this is now an anime that is like it, it's it's in the 2020s bro i mean well not yet actually where that was that was over the top which is opening 22 which means where this was probably like 2019 or something if i had to guess uh 2018 or 19 but um but i mean yeah like that the point is this is this is very recent anime and uh, and they're still going with that old vibe. I I'm I'm torn on that. I think it's kind of cool to stick to your roots and stuff. At the same time, I I like modern anime a lot, and so I would like to see like One Piece actually take on the most modern style that they possibly can. Um, because it's not even like they're adapting like you know chapters from the 80s or anything like that i assume at this point they're they're probably adapting chapters that are still from you know 2015 or 16 or something right i would think um but anyway cool that was a good episode episode op i'm sorry i'm working on i've been recording this video for an hour now so my vocabulary is going to slowly dip um well let's get on to opening 23 we're getting close to the end here this is dreaming on Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right, what's this? 23? It's on the list. That intro was great. Oh, and the vi- Oh my God. Okay. All right, I need to pay attention. I need to follow this one. Whoa, look at the visuals, like the- the water dripping in the background on one of those shots. Oh yeah. You know what? This feels more modern already. Whoa. Man. I mean, I love this one. Oh, wow. I, who's this? I mean, getting some backstory of a character here. We've got Dr. Robotnik. Very cool. Oh my gosh, that woman's still around! <laughs> she a reoccurring villain. Oh, I love this song. Whoa. Okay, well, it looks like Luffy's really powered up. I'm seeing some crazy stuff from him in these OPs. Definitely more than just stretchy powers. Oh, Ryuk's here? Awesome. Yep, uh, given that, uh, two ticks next to it. Because uh, that one, I mean that that's up there. I think with OP eleven as my as my favorite OPs. I mean that that was I I can't I kind of just talked about how I wanted to see One Piece do a more modern feeling OP. I don't know exactly how I would define a modern OP. I'm sure a lot of people would be like they are modern, and a lot of other people would be like none of these are modern, including that one. Um, but. For me, like, I, I have a distinctive feeling that I feel like modern OPs fall into. And that one felt definitely more modern. The The music helped a lot with that. That was that was a pretty modern style of music. Um, but, and I, and I, 
absolutely loved that song, especially the intro of that was great. It was really good. Um, and but yeah, the the visuals of that were just really solid. I really liked it. I liked the way that I'm very excited now. I mean, we're almost in the present present day now. The next one is We Are episode 1000 version. Now, I remember when episode 1000 came out, it was only like a few months ago, I feel like, maybe. Like, maybe six months ago or something, even less. Um, because I remember when it came out, because I, I said to my friends, like, look, One Piece made it to 1000 episodes, that's crazy. But also, I remember people posting this We Are video, I never clicked on it because I, I don't watch One Piece. But I remember a lot of people posting this video everywhere. So, I guess for episode 1000, they gave it a special OP that I assume is going to be a remake of the original OP again. Um, so I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to miss a lot of stuff, I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff that I, that, you know, it's probably going to be sung by a specific voice actor that I don't know or something. But let's uh, do our best to pick it up. Let's do, we are number 23.5. Oh no! <laughs> they went back to the logo, but, you know, that's what people want. So are they... Did they legit just use the exact OP? I mean, hold on. Okay, is it going widescreen? Okay, so. No, they did remake it, right? One Piece! Okay, no, yeah. Oh, no, it looks better, I'll tell you that. Oh, and we've got. We've got lyrics. I like having lyrics. I can read them kind of while looking at the visuals. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is the original song. Whoa. Okay, no, this is all different, but it's in the same style. That's cool. Okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. So they're trying to keep everything modern with the current arcs and stuff that, that are going on, but they're using the old song and the old style. That's a really cool idea. That's really cool, because we got all the new characters that have come along the way. Ah, they use that, except they changed this. This looks a little different. You can see it a little bit more. It might be worse. <laughs> that was really cool though. I will say like, if I was a fan of One Piece and that, Episode 1000 came and that was the OP for it and it was like the very first OP, but they they made it fit with the modern arc Awesome idea great really great and I, I I kind of I kind of fell for it and kind of saw it coming at the same time Where it started as like a letterbox and then like as it came into the real good parts It just like slowly went into widescreen and the animation quality quality slowly improved Lo that's really cool because uh, it's like is them showing like look how far we've come like this was the quality that you originally saw and this is what we are now it's that's kind of really cool um wow nice i mean th that that's great i gotta watch a comparison video between um the episode 1000 version and the original at some point because i think that would be really cool to see anyway we are on the most modern op now this is opening 24 i believe this is the the most recent op it's at least the most recent one in this video but i think it will be the most recent one just in general um and this is opening 24 called paint but it's all in capital letters so i don't know if it's supposed to be paint or p-i-a-n-t i don't know let's uh maybe they'll clarify it within the song maybe they'll stop singing for a bit and just tell me what the song title means here we go final opening opening 24 paint oh whoa the animation the animation whoa okay Ooh. Whoa! Oh my god! This is visually the coolest one! Whoa! That- Wow, that crying animation was beautiful! I know her! Yamato? Is that her name? I say her, I actually- I'll talk about it later. Oh wow! Oh, this is- I can't even react to everything that's happening! I can't- Oh, I like that colored hair it was really cool. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, the gorilla. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Man, I'm getting attached to these characters through OPs alone. Aww. What? That's, that's way better! Yes! Have the logo on the side of the screen, the modern logo, and have the, the go flying away into the distance on the other side. That's so much better than having the weird black logo. I love it. What a way to end this OP reaction. That was the best one. That was so good. Like, I mean, it... The, the song was solid, the song was very good, um, but I, the visuals of that OP were so good and that felt so modern as well. Um, it, I mean, it was, it was a lot of, I think <laughs> the thing about One Piece is it's a lot, like everything is a lot. So uh, maybe that's part of my hesitation with ever watching the show, was everything just seemed like overloading. So even in that OP, Every frame had five characters in it, and those five characters were all doing a move, and all those moves were taking up most of the screen with flashes and stuff. So um, it looks very intimidating to get into. That's not even taking into account the fact that there were a thousand episodes of the show. But really, really solid, uh, solid OP, and a great way to end. I mean, I yeah, I really enjoyed that, and it made me realize that um, I have been watching this uh these ops for now 55 minutes i mean i've been watching it in this video for an hour and i did an hour last episode so two hours but in terms of how long the ops actually were based on uh, as compared to my discussion to them um 55 minutes of watching these ops and so i was like wow i'm actually kind of getting attached to these characters of course i would i've been watching them for an hour now like that, that's, that, there are some movies that are entering their third act at this point of, of the movie and, or like even halfway through their third act for some movies and, uh, and you know, I've, I've just been watching the opening for a long time. So yeah, I mean, if there was anything that was going to get me interested in One Piece, this was it. This was the thing. So let's do a final rundown of my favorite OPs. Now, as I said before, OPs are a very difficult thing because I generally don't even tell people what I think about an OP until episode three or four. Because I, how am I supposed to know? Unless I love it, if I love it straight away, I'm gonna love it. But if I'm like, eh, it's okay, or oh, I don't really like that, or anything along those lines, if it's anything neutral or lower, then I don't, I, I give it some time. And I really, uh, really think about it and come back to it. And then eventually, uh, after four or five episodes, I'll, I'll come to my conclusion and be like, you know what? I love this. Or, no, nah, you know what? This isn't actually that, that great. Um, and so with, with all of these openings, these were all just my initial first reactions. I'm sure after watching it for a few episodes, I would, I would change these rankings up a lot. But I will say, I... I gave some of these one tick and some of these two ticks. One tick means I loved it, uh, or one tick means rather, I, I didn't rank all of them, but if they're on this list, they're within my top eight favorites. And if I give it a tick, it means I, uh, I really, really liked it. And if I give it two ticks, it means my favorites. So my the ones that had one tick were OP3, OP8, OP9, OP20, OP21, and OP... Well, no, that's it. So OP... Three. Let me just get up the, the list so I can just have the titles of these. So, Hikari Air. Um, Crazy Rainbow. Oh, yeah, Crazy Rainbow is good. Jungle P. Yep. Um, Hope. Superpowers. Yeah, those ones. Those were all the ones that I gave one tick. And the ones that I gave two ticks, which we, means these were my top three favorites, were, were Share the World, OP11. Um, Dreaming On, OP23, and Paint, OP24. So, I mean, great job. I will also probably chuck uh, the We Are Episode 1000 version into that pile as well, because that was a really cool idea. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is it. That is the video. I've been recording for so long, so I'm pretty exhausted right now, but um, 
if you stuck around for this long, thank you very much. Um, if you have suggestions for other stuff you want to see, feel free to put it in the comments below. I can't guarantee that I'll get around to it, but I mean, it, people requesting things is very good for me to know the sorts of things that people want. So please make sure to request stuff in the comments below if you want to see certain things. Um, like the video, uh, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. All these things will really, really help this channel. It's still pretty early days of this channel, and uh, I feel like things are going well. So I would really appreciate if you could help the channel grow even further because... Um, Basically, the if this channel continues going is is reliant upon if people like it and if it if it gets attention. So, um, please make sure to support the channel to keep it running. Essentially, to to keep the fuel within the car. Um, but thank you for joining me for this awesome journey of uh, of an hour of One Piece openings overlaid on two videos. So thank you very much, and I will hopefully see you again soon. Goodbye.